Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then thank you so much for joining us. In today's video, we're going to be doing Sunken Dolan Town Stronghold on Nightmare. Normally, I like to speed up my videos and cut stuff out, but I'm going to leave this one on real time so you could see what I did and what time and how long it took or whatever. I suggest though that you skip the clips because there's a counter on your mission. Um, it's slowly falling right now as this is playing and the more time that you lose, uh, the less likely it is you'll win. And um, there's a bar where it monitors your mentality and uh, that starts dropping also as soon as you accept the mission. So the mission is to collect as much black current data as you can before the time runs out or before you lose your mind. Your uh, mentality is monitored in a bar at the top called reason. More often than not, losing that is what killed me rather than losing my health. There are boxes around the map where you get these syringes you can inject yourself with that it'll bring your reason up. But, um, I've only ever found, like, two in all the tries that I did of this. In my opinion, it's just better if you run around, uh, trying to gather the black current data things as fast as you can. If you come across those boxes or the ones for band-aids, great, but don't hunt them down because it'll just cost you too much time. Try not to touch this fog. If you can, it'll hurt you. If you get a gun and shoot it, though, it kills it. I don't know how that works, but <laughs> it does, so. If you get a gun and it's in your way, you could just shoot it.
I'd normally like to have a weapon by now, but it's okay if you don't. It kept me moving faster. There's usually a weapon crate right there. I tend to kill a lot of times shooting things unnecessarily. <laughs> In all honesty, it's probably why I won this time. That's a boss dude. He hangs out by these houses over here. I tried to kill him a few times with the axe and died every single time. You have to have a weapon, preferably the flamethrower. If you get one and you can kill him, you should. It gives you a lot of black current data. And toward the end in that time crunch, that really helps. See, I just accidentally killed that fog with the gun. I was able to run through that area. I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. It's weird because it's like it's an entity, but it's fog. It's weird. When you get this close to the end, what I did is just killed a bunch of zombies until I got that last bit of collection data that I needed because they drop a little bit and... um. That way you don't have to keep hunting down those poles because I ran out of ideas where the last one would be. So this was just easier and faster for me. <laughs> Laziness. Try to go for the really tall fat guys with the red eyes, those ones, because they drop one every single time. And the little dudes rarely drop any ever. So I've completed it. Uh, we got all the black current data we need. Now I just have to get to the helicopter before my character loses its mind. I'd actually completed this a few times, except right before I got to the helicopter, I'd fall off and run out of time and lose my mind down there. Or I'd get to the helicopter and then lose my mind right before it showed up. It was so frustrating. Looks like this time we actually Not made it though. Thing. Woohoo! I've done this on every level, and um, if you do it on normal, then the damage, like, how do I explain it? Um, the damage you do against the zombies is the same in every difficulty, because you're not using your own statistics and stuff. So you guys are, like, the same on each difficulty. So... It's not like other strongholds where it gets harder with each difficulty. It's the same for each one. So um, 
Don't be more afraid of Nightmare than you are of the normal one because they're all the same when you don't use your own character inside of these strongholds. The only difference is, is with normal, they usually put the black current pull things you have to get in the same spot. And with each difficulty, they space them out more and they put them in unpredictable places. That's really the only difference. So you can totally do this, even if um, you die a few dozen times like I did. <laughs> it's really just about repetition until they're like in most of the spots you're normally going to, I guess. And then you'll just like, I don't know, learn the map as you do it more and it'll be easier to find them. That was just my experience anyway. I don't know. It could be different for you. Just try and get the ground ones first because there's like this black goo that will slowly rise up from the bottom of the um, floor. And if you touch it, it makes you lose your mind really fast. So you don't really want to get stuck down there with that stuff. So do the ground ones first if you can help it. And then get the ones on top of the buildings. Alright, that's the end of this one. <laughs> it's dragging it on. Um, I hope it helped you guys. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more of my videos. I'll be uploading a lot more now since I got through the whole COVID over and over thing. And I got my new phone. Yay! <laughs> so I have space, which is great. Always helps. Anyway, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye!